I'd like to tell you about some myths about disability insurance claims that you may have heard from neighbors, friends, other lawyers, and insurance companies. You're on a level playing field with the insurance company. If your employer says you're too injured to work, the disability insurance company will automatically pay you benefits. Filling out the disability insurance company forms will automatically result in you being paid disability benefits. If you've been awarded Social Security disability benefits, you'll have no problem getting your long-term disability benefits. If your doctor says you're disabled, you'll win your case. If the insurance company sends you an activity log, it's because they're sincerely interested in what you do on a daily basis. The best way to convince the disability insurance company that you can't work at your sedentary job is to write them a detailed letter describing your medical condition and how it interferes with your ability to live your life. If you write the insurance company a letter and are reasonable, you'll get a reasonable settlement proposal. The insurance company appeal process is fair and unbiased. Any lawyer can help you with your ERISA long-term disability claim. You should hold back your best evidence for trial. Your doctors will come to trial to testify and help you convince the judge of your disability. You'll be allowed to testify at trial if your case is filed in federal court. Sorry to disappoint you, none of that is true. Listen, the truth about long-term disability insurance companies is that numerous judges have acknowledged that you're not on a level playing field with the insurance company during the claims process. Your employer's opinion of whether or not you can work carries little weight. Many employers are upset to learn that the policy they purchased for you and themselves isn't paying disability benefits. Many of the insurance companies will say, your opinion doesn't count, Mr. Employer. You should have bought a better policy. Insurance company forms are actually designed to trick you into giving up information that will later be used to help the insurance company deny your claim. Insurance companies say they don't have to pay attention to Social Security benefit awards, and judges largely agree. More often than not, when your disability insurance company sends you an activity log to fill out, they've already had you under secret video surveillance. Just because a doctor says you're disabled doesn't mean you're going to be paid disability benefits. Insurance companies want a high degree of objective proof of your disability before they'll pay you your benefits. Insurance companies exist for one reason, to make a profit for their shareholders. Writing letters and being reasonable will get you nothing. The insurance company's appeal process isn't fair and unbiased. Think about it. They're paying the money. Their only incentive is to deny your claim to keep their money. Although many lawyers claim to be well-versed in differing types of long-term disability claims, many attorneys simply don't have much experience in this specialized area of law. You shouldn't hold back your best evidence for trial because there are no trials. Most long-term disability claims are in fact settled way before they ever reach the courthouse. You don't win your lawsuit if a judge finds that you're disabled. A judge can disagree with the insurance company's denial of your claim and still decide that you lose. We're sorry your employer purchased such an awful policy. We were sitting in a huge conference room of a very successful law firm hired by a major disability insurance company. My client, unable to work, wondered what this mediation would be like. 18 months ago, his doctor had told him he'd be forced to give up the job he loved because he couldn't do what was expected of him. My client believed that his employer's long-term disability insurance policy would protect him and his family when the day came that he finally had to give in to his doctor's demands. Even though his supervisors had been telling him to stop working for years, he had hung in there. Although he didn't want to admit it, he couldn't work anymore at the job he loved. Reluctantly, my client filed his disability claim. Despite all the information submitted by him, his doctors, and his employer, his claim for disability benefits was denied. The claim had gone through the disability insurance company's appeal process. At each step of the way, 
The insurance company officials told him that despite his doctor's orders, they thought he could continue working. The decision was reviewed by the disability insurance company's own doctors, who never met my client or even spoke a word to him. Left with no alternative, we filed a lawsuit in federal court against one of the largest disability insurance companies in the world. Now, after having started the litigation process, we were invited to a mediation. The disability insurance company flew in an executive from their home office, paid one half of the experienced mediator's fee. We were meeting to put a price on my client's disability. That morning, he told his story to the disability insurance company executive and the insurance company's high-priced lawyer. He poured out his heart, explaining how he had struggled for years to continue to do the job he loved. Then it was the disability insurance company's chance to finally speak directly to my client. Both the lawyer and the disability insurance company executive looked across the table. They each explained that they were sorry that my client had endured all that he had had. They explained they were only doing their jobs. They wished they could pay more money, but my client's employer hadn't bought the best disability insurance policy, and they could only pay my client based on the policy his employer had purchased. Sometimes the best advice comes before you purchase a disability insurance policy and before you become disabled. Please, pull out your disability insurance policy right now and review it. Are you really protected? If not, and you've purchased your policy through your employer, go to your human resources department or simply bite the bullet and buy an individual private disability policy. If you're unsure of the policy terms, you can call our office at 727-897-9117 and schedule a free policy review for up to 30 minutes. At the conclusion of this disability policy audit, you'll have the information you need to decide whether or not you have an adequate disability policy. This audit is completely free and without obligation. No pressure to do anything will be exerted on you.